TRIO EP01 Unpacking, Inspection, Well Installation and Commissioning Linear Electrical Submersible Pump, LESP, TRIO EP01 is innovative equipment designed to increase oil production in the most profitable way. This means an increase in fluid production, an increase of oil share in the fluid, and a decrease in the specific energy consumption per cubic meter of lifted fluid. We are confident that TRIO EP01 will maximize the productivity of your well. In this video instruction, we will tell you how to properly unpack, inspect, install, and commission the TRIO EP01 linear electrical submersible pump. The unit is packed in a container which is made of a steel frame. Oriented strand board intended for sea transportation is used for protective panels. To unpack the EP01 kit, you will need open end wrenches or 10 mm, 13 seconds, and 17 mm, 11 sixteenths, hexagonal socket heads, stationary knife, 5 mm or 7 seconds slotted screwdriver. Unscrew the hex head screws with a 10 mm, 13 seconds hex wrench. In the package, you will see a set of submersible equipment for the installation, consisting of linear submersible motor, pump, extension cable, mounting kit, The mounting kit is required for reliable installation of the unit and consists of Extension cable for connecting a cable line from ground equipment to the motor Protective cover for cable extension Terminals for fixing connection wires Bolts for fixing the connection wires A sub, which is required if 3 8 tubing is used to run equipment Silicone oil for filling the cavity for connecting the cable extension Locking screws for fixing the moving part of the unit. Remove the retaining clamps. Unscrew the nuts with a 17 mm, 11 16th wrench. With a utility knife, remove the protective film from the motor and pump. Lift the motor and pump to a rack or prepared area using straps. Remove the plastic transport seals from the pump and motor connection threads with a slotted screwdriver. Carry out an incoming control of the EP01 unit before moving the equipment to the field. To carry out the incoming control, you need the following tool. 10 mm, 13 seconds open end wrench. 14 mm, 9 16 open end wrench. 17 mm, 11 16 open end wrench. A set of hex keys. 5 mm, 7 seconds slotted screwdriver. Megometer Multimeter Incoming control is carried out in three steps. Incoming control Step 1. Check the motor. Remove the shipping covers from the cable extension using a 10 mm, 13 seconds hex wrench. Connect the extension cable to the motor head. Secure the extension cable with the screws to a tightening torque of 6 to 8 newton meters, 4 to 6 pound foot. Use a 14 mm, 9 16 wrench to unscrew the shipping cover retaining nuts and remove it from the flange to access the slider. Check the insulation resistance of the motor. Connect the megometer with a minus probe installed on one of the cores of the cable extension and the plus probe installed on the braid of the cable extension. Set the test voltage to 500 volts on the device, measuring times 60 seconds. According to the test results, the resistance should be at least 2000 megohms. Check the symmetry of the resistance of the motor windings. Set the position of the installation resistance measurement on the multimeter. Connect the plus probe to the wire of phase A, the minus probe to phase B, and fix the readings of the device. Then connect the minus probe to phase C and fix the readings of the device. Then connect the probe from phase plus to phase B and fix instrument readings. According to the measurement results, the deviation between the three measurements should be no more than 5%. Check the motor. Connect the extension cable to the control station. Turn on the control station and go to the configuration checking menu. 
Select the motor type according to the installation instructions. Click the Start button. Verify that the motor slider has completed two movement cycles and return to the mounting position. On the controller screen, the information message Checking Completed should appear. Step 2. Check the immersion sensor. Disconnect the extension cable from the control station. Connect one of the phases to the neutral wire terminal. The terminal is located in the connection cabinet of the control station. Connect the shield of the extension cable to the grounding of the control station. Switch on the control station. After starting the controller, go to the menu, Operation Parameters of the Immersion Sensor. Ten minutes after switching on, the screen will display the parameters measured by the sensor. The ambient and motor oil temperature readings should be equal to the workshop temperature, and the pump intake pressure should be 0 psi, 0 bar, to 30 psi, 2 bar. The immersion sensor test is complete. Remove the extension cable and fit the shipping covers. Step 3. Check the pump. Unscrew the lower shipping cover bolts with a 17mm 11 16 wrench. After removing all the bolts, smoothly move the pump cover until wrench flats appear on the moving part of the pump. The movement of the moving part should be smooth. Replace the cover in its original position. Fix the cover with the bolts. Move the components to the container and fix it for further transportation to the field. Screw the protective container caps back on. Installation, assembly, and commissioning of the TRIOL EP01 is carried out according to the operation manual and consists of five steps. You can download the electronic version of the manual on our website by clicking on the link in the video description. To install the EP01, you need the following tools. 10 mm, 13 30 seconds open end wrench. 14 mm, 9 16 open end wrench. 17 mm, 11 16 open end wrench. 36 mm, 1 and 7 16 open end wrench. Torque wrench with 22 mm, 7 8 head. A set of hex keys. Cargo sling with a lifting capacity of at least 700 kilograms. 1,543 pounds. Clamp elevator for diameter 110 millimeters, 4.3 inches. Clamp elevator for diameter 90 millimeters, 3.5 inches. Silicone oil. 5 millimeter, 7.30 seconds slotted screwdriver. Commissioning. Step 1. Install the motor. Fasten the clamp elevator to the motor head on specially prepared seats. Attach the lifting straps to the elevator yoke and secure them to the lifting hook. Lift the motor and place it on the wellhead. If you do not have an elevator clamp, please contact us to add this item to the delivery set. Commissioning Step 2. Connect the cable line. Splice the extension cable from the cable line at a service space according to your organization's current regulations. Remove the shipping covers from the cable extension using a 10 mm 13 30 seconds hex wrench. Install new O-rings from the mounting kit onto the plugs of the extension cable. Remove the plugs from the cable extension seats in the motor head and fill the empty cavity with silicone oil from the mounting kit. Install the extension cable after wetting the O-rings with oil. Install carefully to prevent mechanical damage to the O-rings. Secure the extension cable with screws with a tightening torque of 6 to 8 newton meters, 4 to 6 pound foot. Next, install the protective cover. Use a 14 mm 9 16 wrench to unscrew the slider shipping cover retaining nuts and remove. Commissioning Step 3 Install the pump Install the clamp elevator in the seat of the pump head. Fasten the mounting straps to the clamp and lift the pump. Use a crane to move the pump to the engine head and loosen the lower shipping cover bolts with a 17 mm 11 16 wrench. Smoothly move the pump cover down 
until the flats appear on the moving part of the pump. Unscrew the transport cover. Connect the moving part of the pump to the slider head of the motor. Lubricate the threads of the moving part of the pump with any available grease. Hold the head of the slider with a 36 mm, 1 and 7 16 wrench. Screw the movable part with a 22 mm, 7 8 wrench. Tightening torque 180 to 200 newton meters, 132 to 148 pound foot. Do not skew the mating parts when connecting to prevent thread biting. Install a lock screw in the slider head seat to limit spontaneous unscrewing of the pump moving part from the slider head. Screw in the screw as far as it will go with a torque of 6 to 8 newton meters, 4 to 6 pound foot. The connection of the moving part of the installation is complete. Connect the pump flange to the motor. Align the mounting holes of the mating flanges and lower the pump until the stop flanges meet and the motor head studs protrude from the back of the pump flange. Install the washers and nuts from the mounting kit onto the studs and pre-crimp the flanges while lowering the pump until the flange stop pads are fully mated. Torque the nuts fully to 10 to 14 newton meters, 7 to 10 pound foot. Installation of the submersible part of the equipment is completed. Remove the clamp elevator from the motor and lower the equipment into the well according to your company's current regulations. Commissioning Step 4 Install the equipment above ground. Connect ground equipment according to the wiring diagram in the operating manual. Connect power to the input of the control station. Connect the step up transformer to the output of the control station. Connect the neutral wire from the control station to the step-up transformer. Connect the cable line to the output of the step-up transformer. Commissioning Step 5 Run the installation using the controller. Go to Settings – Installation Options. Set the well's rated parameters according to the well nameplate. Deposit number, bush number, well number, depth of pump discharge, minimum pump intake pressure. This parameter is required to check the motor selection and to set the intake pressure protection. Reservoir temperature. Go to the pump motor menu. Set the pump type according to the registration certificate data and press enter. Set the motor type according to the registration certificate data and press enter. Go to the cable options menu. Enter cable parameters and operating conditions. Units of cable section measurement. Cable section. Length of cable. Go to the Step Up Transformer menu. Enter the rated parameters of the applied Step Up Transformer according to the rating data or the nameplate on the transformer. Rated Frequency Rated Power Voltage of the Primary Winding After entering the data on the frequency, power and voltage of the primary winding of the Step Up Transformer, the controller screen will display the recommended calculated range of values on the tap-off on the secondary winding of the step-up transformer, minimum recommended tap-off voltage, and maximum recommended tap-off voltage. According to the recommendations, install a tap on the step-up transformer from the step-up transformer suggested on the information plate. Specify the selected tap for the tap voltage set point. Important. If settings are entered incorrectly, the unit will stop for protection. After setting all parameters, the red exclamation mark will change to a green status mark. There is no information about problems in the status menu. The installation is ready to run. Press the start button. 
work with Trio. Sell knowledge.